I've used a lot of weapons in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, but I haven't really paid that much attention to the wonder weapons in this game. But that changes today. We'll be going into game with all four wonder weapons and testing them out, getting them fully pack-a-punched and finding out what all their unique abilities are. All to see which ones are worth using. Let's go test them out. I wanted to start out with the two wonder weapons that I've used the most, both for very different reasons. Right here, we got the VR-11 which in my opinion is probably the strongest wonder weapon in this game and it has some very fast movement speed as you can see we're absolutely dusting these zombies and we can change them into mercs just by shooting them so it's already got a couple really cool features right off the bat but it's still got more not only can this thing deal massive damage and it's the weapon that i've used to solo the red worm a few times but this can also repair vehicles such as the acvs and escort missions so this thing is really good for the old dark aether and our other weapon is the scorcher this is probably the best thing in the game for moving around the map because of its unique ability to launch you into the sky and to allow you to use your parachute now once you pack a punch it you can boost multiple times in the air getting an insane height I think it's, you can use it about up to three times going up. But after you use your parachute and cut it after it's pack a punch, you can just continuously use your boost over and over again to float across the map. And this has to be the wonder weapon that I've used the most in this game, but I've hardly ever actually shot it. It has a nice little charge up shot here that you can launch out and it leaves a line of damage right here. Anything that walks in between this line will take damage. So this actually has a potential to be really good. So let's go ahead and pack a punch these and go see what they can do. And you might not have been able to understand what I was talking about with the Scorcher just based off of me explaining it. So let me just show you. We just boosted three times in the air. I'm gonna use my parachute, cut it, bring the Scorcher back out. And you can kind of boost this up to like 30 or 50 around there and just keep using this. You float around a little bit, pop it again, bam. You can go across the entire map doing this. But while you're doing it, I would be very mindful of how close you are to the ground because any fall damage deaths in this game is a permadeath. You cannot be revived and you cannot plead for help and be revived that way either. So just really make sure you know where you're at. But since we're over here, let's go ahead and start out a bounty and see what these things can do damage wise. And I was talking about our movement speed with this earlier, but if we go ahead and use a stamina up, we'll go even faster. I don't think there's a single weapon in this game that has faster movement speed than the VR-11. We are absolutely dusting a hellhound. See, watch. As I'll let it get a little bit closer, let it catch up, and then we're out of here. We're taking off. This has Usain Bolt scared. Look at that. We just dusted the shit out of him. You can't catch up even if you tried. Now, let's see how the damage is doing with this being Pack-A-Punch 2 against a Tier 2 HVT Disciple. I just need you to stay still because I can't aim this very well. And we already broke his mask. We stopped him from healing. Let's get back to a quick reload. And back to the shooting. Ooh, broke his shit again. Just got to stop him from healing right here. Merc, get him. I've actually never seen a Merc show up that's anti-tank with an RPG. It's pretty cool. But now this Disciple is dead. Took a few extra shots there. You can see its fire rate is kind of slow, but the damage it deals is not bad for all the extra abilities you get with it. Eh, let's do another bounty and see what the Scorcher can do. Let's give this a nice charge. I'm pretty sure the longer you charge it, the longer the beam stays up, and the longer he's in it, the more damage he takes. So after just one shot, we got him down to less than half health. Actually down to a third, so this should kill him right here. Scorcher's not bad. This is also probably one of the more well-known features of the Scorcher, but when you blast off, you leave a little trail behind you that hurts anything that's underneath you. So all these zombies right here, I don't think it'll kill zombies very easily, but hellhounds go down by it pretty good. I think if the zombies are already partially hurt, they'll die, but not really the best method for taking anything out. But if we want to get these to pack a punch three, we got a few more bounties to take out. Disciple, there's no running. You stay right here. You take the beam. That's not crazy damage so far, mainly because he was healing from me, and now he's just getting dismantled. If we can get him to multiple lasers at once, he's done. Mercs, how do you like this? Oh, actually, we need to wait for this to recharge. So it's a good thing we don't need to constantly grab ammo for this, but it does need time to recharge every now and again. And there we go. We just sniped him. But he did go ahead and die right in front of all these mercs like an asshole. And just because I get this suggested to me a lot, everyone always asks me to use the mag of holding on some wonder weapons and it doesn't work on them. I, I brought it in here just to show you guys if we use it, nothing changes on the wonder weapon. We're still a two out of 18 on our VR 11 
and nothing has changed on our Scorcher. But if we were to pick up any sort of bullet weapon, then Maggle Holding would take into effect. Would well, be really cool if it worked on Wonder Weapons, though. That'd be sweet. And we got enough to get one of our Wonder Weapons Pack-a-Punch 3, and the safe bet here is the VR-11, so went ahead and picked that up. And what better way to test this out than against our pal, the Mega Abomination? Go ahead and start shooting your laser. There you go. That's what we like to see. One shot breaks a face immediately. Another shot? Insane damage against an open mouth. Oh, it's Aether Shroud. Are you going to open another one for me? No? Okay. Yeah, charge at nothing. Come on, let's get with the program, pal. What is this doing against a regular open mouth? Taking it out. So two shots to regular open mouth, and it's one shot to any lasering mouth. Actually, let's see if that's true. Mm, two shots, it seems like. Maybe even three. If I could reload a little bit faster, that'd be nice. Definitely need some speed cola. Especially since this reload animation restarts if you just sprint a little too early. But this should do it right here. Night, night. Oh, wait. Missed the shot, I think. Wow. What do you have? Lit I can't even see the health on there. Can I punch him to death? Just one little punch took him out. That was a strange laugh, too. This thing's got me acting up. So despite its massive damage, it does have a few downsides, like the reload time and the time between shots. It kind of get you into some uh, tough situations if you're not prepared for them, like I was. So I'm grabbing Speed Cola right away. And we will get PhD as well. We'll just grab everything we can. And since we do have the VR-11 here, let's go ahead and start up a tier three escort to get us some money. Where's the contract? There it is. I lost it for a second. But this should give us some money to get our Scorcher up to pack a punch three as well. Actually, we can also test this out real quick. Let's get the Scorcher going, even though we don't have it pack three. We'll send a quick laser through there and it's still tearing zombies up. And I'm getting torn up by this laser. It's like we have our own mega abomination laser. Dude, this thing even pack two is strong. And one thing that I'm liking about these wonder weapons is that we don't got to use any aether tools on them. Would be nice to get a little extra damage on it, but these things already deal massive damage most of the time. And speaking of massive, our mega abomination dipped out on us. Bro despawned. And look at the difference here on the reload with speed coal now with the VR-11. It's like instant. But now let's start up our ACV. You see the vehicle health at 100% now. I'm going to let these guys, you know, take a few swings at it. Go for it. You got it, Mimic. He's bringing it down to 96, 95. I will kill him. There we go. And now we're down to 91%. Shoot it once, back to 100. But we don't have an insane amount of ammo with our VR-11, so we should try to make it count. Our Scorcher's already proved that it can kind of make it work up here. So let me use this a bit. We just got to shoot a laser on each side of our ACV here. And we should be able to keep it safe. We just got to wait for it to recharge. Oh, and they're messing it up. Only 79% left on it. Psych. Back to 100. And I just got to kind of shoot this towards it and all the zombies chasing behind it just get eviscerated this is sweet i don't know why i never used the scorcher as a weapon it's always just been a tool to move around and we're at the last stop we just gotta finish sucking this aether ball oh and an insta kill that should make this even better just launch it right through here and everything's dead let's give it one last heal just to be safe and that should be our contract easy peasy bye rocket that's a good warm-up for us it's going to be way tougher in the Dark Aether later, but at least we kind of get the, the gist of it. We got some reps under our belt. And it's about time we test these out against a Tier 3 HVT. Oh, and it's a Mega Abomination. Just the guy I've been looking for. What's up, buddy? How you liking this? Yeah, shoot that laser. Face gone. Ooh, down to half health already. I only hit him like three times. So if we really just like be a little patient with this fight and wait for him to shoot a laser, he's just dead immediately. Actually, why don't we put this to the test? We'll use this to fly up to here. We'll stand on this umbrella. He's going to shoot his laser every time. Face gone. Dead. Literally like a, a four shot kill. Oh, wait, you want some too? You just saw us kill your HVT brother. We can arrange the same for you. Face gone. Go ahead, shoot one. Oh, now he's scared. Don't be nervous now. There you go. That's what we like to see. One more. Night, night. But now we got enough to get the Scorcher Pack-A-Punch 3. Look at that in all of its beauty. I don't think Pack-A-Punch 3 increases its launch height at all, but it should increase its damage, which was already kind of crazy at Pack 2. Let's find out for ourselves with a bounty. What's up, buddy? Go for it. Use your signature move, and I'll use mine. We'll hit him with that. Let him eat it up. Actually, it doesn't even matter if he's shooting a laser before or after, because our laser will be sitting there by the time he opens his mouth. And so far, not a whole lot of damage to this guy. 
So with a fully charged shot to the mouth. Yeah, we haven't really done a whole lot to him. So this thing might strictly just be for taking out like zombies in just normal elites, not HVTs. But let's try it again now that he's shooting a laser directly at us. Yeah, we're not doing a crazy amount right back at him. Yeah, we might we might have to finish this guy off with the VR11. A little disappointed, Scorcher, not gonna lie. You've definitely like exceeded my expectations, but I thought you might be able to do something to an uh, abomination. At least our VR11 can't be tamed. This thing's disgusting. There we go. Now let's see if the storm caller is still here. Somebody's leaving the storm, so maybe they already took him out, but I just wanna take a peek. No, I see him. He's here. And you've probably already seen somebody use the VR11 against him, but I've never seen the Scorcher damage against him. Is this better than it would be against the Mega Bomb? So far, it's mm, not a whole lot because we can't break his hand. Tell you what, Stormcaller, we'll start you out with the VR11 and then we'll work our way over to the Scorcher. There we go. Ooh, half health instantly. Now we'll switch to the Scorcher. Yeah, call in your people. This is perfect. You can't heal off this, at least not for a little bit. Eh, it's doing some nice damage to him. Broke his posture immediately. Oh, and now he's healing. Bring the VR-11 back out. Stop him from doing that as soon as I'm done reloading. And he should be dead. Man, I just be protecting my own deaths. That's what happens when you ignore the zombies and just shoot at him. But now he's sleep. He's gone. Give me your skull. So VR-11 definitely can wipe him out easy. And Scorcher actually does some decent damage to him. But you're going to need something to break his hand to stop him from healing. Some decoys there would have been nice. But I'm an idiot and I forgot to grab some. Well, we got 14 minutes till the storm starts moving. Let's go try to get all of our USBs for the Red Worm. See if we can't take him out. Oh, is somebody fighting the Warlord up here? Well, we might as well go help out. Let's see if we can find our heroes. I don't see their name tags anywhere. Well, let's take a quick shot at her. How much did that do? I don't think I can do anything to her before she moves. Maybe she enjoy a nice, healthy load of Scorcher. Oh, that's actually doing great damage against her. That's what we like to see. Why don't you come land over here? You coward. Ooh, already lighting her up. Yeah, leave. On to the next area, half health. That's her new name. I'll meet you there. And this should be it for you. Eat that damage. All your drones, gone. Yeah, spawn some more in. Don't matter. Night, night. You guys are a little late, don't you think? Your warlord's already dead. And this should be our last thumb drive. Give me that. So we've already taken down tier three HVTs, but can we survive an outlast with these? Bars. I just want to see if we can make these work against like a whole horde of zombies and not just take out like one or two at a time. There's got to be some strat we can do where the Scorcher's line will take out any and everything that'll try to attack us like maybe right here if we just put it right down this yeah everything's just jumping right into it just need to load it up let it loose and hopefully the zombies give us enough time to recharge it in between it actually seems like it does a little bit of damage after it goes away too like it's gone and those zombies still died i wish i could charge this and just let it hold there like kind of like a uh, Samus's gun in Smash Bros. That would be sweet. Just have a fully charged one ready to go. Mangler, no time for you. Yeah, walk into my laser, dipshit. Night, night. This is actually great at farming kills. Everything walking into it is dying. Every single thing, elite or not. We got nothing to show for it. But the storm is about to move, so we should get moving as well. We got a worm to fight. And if we can beat this worm fast enough, we should be able to fly and make it to the Dark Aether all in the same game. And the storm is here. Let's start it up. And hopefully I can take it out. Been a while since I've done this, so I might be a bit rusty. But I believe in our VR-11. And you know what? Maybe even the Scorcher can tag along. Come on out, buddy. Let's get a shot going. Is this doing any damage to you? Is it even hitting you? I don't even think I saw a hit marker. Oh, we're whiffing. Just the, those little wiggles are doing enough to dodge it. But don't look like it's doing a whole lot. Now let's just switch to our VR-11 and take him out. Yeah, look how much damage the VR-11 does to him. I don't even care about his little healing orbs. I'm just going to keep moving. Why don't you go underground? Who do you think you are? Diglett head ass. We already got him like close to half health. We're doing our thing. Just going to make sure that we're landing these shots when we get the opportunity. Yeah, go back underground. I would too if I was getting my ass beat and I was a big worm. Would you guys still watch me if I was a worm? Oh, uh, low ammo? Guess what? Refill. What are you going to do about a worm? Ain't shit you can do. It's just as effortless as it gets. It's just turn and shoot, turn and shoot, and he's dead. 
Once he comes back up from his little dirt nap, he's going to be taking another one permanently. Oh, just had to get one more bite in. Had to get another taste of me, huh? Can I kill you while I'm in your mouth? Actually, let's not do that. I don't want to glitch myself out. I don't know if that will, but I am going to attempt fate. Good night, little worm. Bye-bye. Go on. Better have a legendary Aether tool for me or something. Wait, why is the music still playing? He's dead. And I got the notification for it. Where's my loot? There it is. Wow. A gas mask and a flawless ethereum crystal diagram. His health bar is still here, though. And no loot drops from him. That's usually the good loot. All right, whatever. Keep your loot. Don't need it. Just needed to kill you. Just need to prove a point. Now we're going to the dark aether. Hopefully we can solo this. So this is the harder of the two dark aethers. But if this can carry us through the escort mission, then we'll be all right. All right, let's do this. Let's fly right over to here. Ooh, nice. Love the graphical errors. I'm just gonna look down and pretend that they're not happening. All right, cool. That worked. But we should be able to do this aether extractor relatively easy if we just... Go ahead and Aether Shroud to start. And then we can get this one. Perfect. Got it just in time. Let's fly the next. We have a Mangler waiting. We will throw a decoy. Keep all the zombies away. Shoot him with this. One more shot should kill him. There we go. And we can do this rocket. Awesome. One more. It's going to be the same thing with this. Decoy. Keep him away. Oh, we got two elites here. Oh, you guys can both die. How's that sound? And one of you zombies can distract by being a merc. Uh-oh. Maybe that was enough distraction, but we still got it. Fine with me. Ah, oh, dog bone. Might as well just use it. Have the dog help get us up in case something goes awry here. Now on to the hardest contract. Let's do it. The thing I'm most worried about for this one is being able to conserve our ammo. Because we don't have a whole lot to work with. But if our Scorcher can do enough to keep these zombies away from it, and we can have enough ammo in our VR-11 to heal this, we should be all right. Zombies still aren't near it. And I will pick up this monkey bomb. So this will be useful. I'll use everything that I can find on the ground. That's for sure. And all those zombies can die from one laser. Oh, this thing could be an XP farm. You do it right. Quick little nuke too. We're golden. One orb down. I can actually just let this push me and I can shoot behind and in front. I'm so smart, dude. I haven't even had to use the VR-11 yet. We got to make sure we keep lasering this. Nice mimic. That was a good save on your part. Cool. Ooh. Ooh, we're getting low on health on this. Let's uh, fix her right up. Let me handy mandy. Let's keep it moving. Ooh, this one got close, dude. Still is close. And I hear an abomination. That's what really scares me. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Let's go. Do we have a deadbolt turret up here? We do. I'm going to have to use this. Just toss that in there. Let's get back to our vehicle. Repair it. Get this in place. And start unloading on this abomination. Oh, the abomination's dead. Let's go. And it dropped me another scorcher. How nice. He's showing respect. Paying homage to us. And it looks like it's done. Let's just shoot this up a little bit. Make sure it's at 100%. I love that this can shoot through the vehicle too. It's so nice. Makes the event so much easier. Because now we got it complete, baby. What do we get for that? Mm. Not awful stuff, but I would like something better. We got one more contract to do here. Let's start up this last contract and hopefully we can make it through. So this one's going to be a lot tougher than our other outlast. We don't just have one area we can sit at and use our Scorcher. Actually, maybe we do. I can stay right up here. And shoot one each way, either down the stairs or across the hall. And if shit gets tough, then I will have to use my cashmere, which I will do right now. Insta-kill don't really help us out much when we can't shoot this a whole lot. Unless these zombies want to help us and transform, get brain rotted. And we're taking a beating right now, but it's all done. Oh, what we get for it? There's some armor plates. Not bad. Time for us to make like a tree and get out of here. And so far, these are my two favorite wonder weapons. They both do crazy good damage and their abilities helped us out a lot. All right, let's get out of here and test the other two. And for our last two weapons, we have the oldest and most iconic in this game. This is the ray gun right here, which special ability is that you can do damage to yourself if you don't have PhD. And we have the beautifully designed Wonder Waff DG2. This is probably one of my favorite looking wonder weapons in the whole game. And its special ability is that it shoots out a little bit of lightning that can chain together and get multiple zombies just in one shot which I'm almost positive was the inspiration for the Deadwire ammo mod that we have now. And 
second, just in case you've never seen the Wonder Wolf in action before. This is what it looks like when it's getting multiple zombies at a time. So I'll shoot one shot here. It lands on one and it just chains over to the rest of them, killing them all basically. Now it will just do some crazy damage, take out a good amount of zombies here in tier one, but we'll see what it can do in tier two and beyond. So let's go ahead and get them pack-a-punched and go test them out. Oh, a legendary Aether tool in here. I will take that for sure. Okay, these are already good luck. Maybe that's a unique feature. You get better loot with them. One of my favorite things to do when I have some crazy wonder weapon like this is to introduce it to some mercs. They've never seen any of this alien technology before. And they're just getting blasted by it. They come out here, they think they're doing a job, you know, holding down an area in a, a zombified zone and some dude just pulls up with a, a laser beam and kills them. And we've seen what it can do against mercenaries. How's this doing against a tier two HVT? Uh, the damage doesn't look so crazy so far. Maybe it's because it, it's got armor on still. Let's see if we can break it. Uh, it's getting better. Maybe the closer we are, the more damage it does. But either way, not too impressive. But what I'm thinking is our ray gun here is going to be what we use to deal with bosses for the most part. You know, there might be a few exceptions. And then we'll use our Wonder Wolf against just hordes of zombies. We'll try to get them all trained up before we use it. All right, Wonder Wolf, your time to shine. What are you doing against this mimic? Not even really stunning it, but it's doing some decent damage. Holy shit. Mimic thinks he's Dan Marino. Well, we're going to have to reload after firing. How many shots do we get when it's back up punched? Six. So just like our VR-11. And it shoots a little bit faster than a VR-11 would. So far, I think they're, they're neck and neck in terms of damage. But what I'm really looking forward to, since this does deal electric damage, I want to see what this can do against the storm car. Because I just one shot that disciple for like it was nothing. I'm going to take a little bit of a gamble here. We got enough to get one of our weapons pack three. And I'm doing it on the Wonder Wolf first. I want to put my trust in this weapon because I really think this might be the worst Wonder Weapon in the game, but... I could be wrong. And since there's currently a contract famine in tier three, let's try this out against our Stormcaller buddy. Hopefully he's still here. There he is. Found him. Unless that's just a normal disciple. Nope. Looks like the Stormcaller. How's this doing against you? Shot all six shots at him. Half health. He is outside of the storm though for no reason. Let's hit our Aether Shroud so we can safely reload and light him up. Let's hit his zombies too. Wait, did it not do anything to his zombies? Here. There's one extra shot for you. Stormcaller, you take the rest. And he's so close to dying. Stop healing. Doesn't look like this stops his heals. We're out of ammo for it, but that's fine. Because this is actually where the worm fight's going to be. So we got some ammo caches. And he's dead. Thanks for playing, buddy. Who would have thought that using an electric weapon against something that's weak to electricity would have done so well? Oh, and we got an abomination right here. All right. I guess we'll see how this does. What's up, pal? Shoot your laser. Hold on, let me reload. Excuse me. Can I break a face with this? I'm not really looking like it. Maybe I missed. But what I'm liking about this gun is we don't really need a whole lot of decoys. Like as long as we just kind of train around a bit, get all the zombies together, we just send them one little courtesy shot and they stay away from us. Here we go. Can this break a face? No, I don't think so. This might not be our weapon for any boss that's not a disciple. Disciples were the exception. All right, we're going to have to ditch this guy. Unless our ray gun can somehow take him out at pack two. Let's see. He's screaming. We're doing like a very slight amount of damage, but we need this pack three. Actually, since this is so good at crowd control, maybe we can take out this infested stronghold here. I always have trouble with these tier three strongholds. But maybe if we just use the ray gun... Take out the sis. And then our Wonder Wolf, whenever zombies show up, we might be all right. Let's throw a quick decoy. And we got a whole group of them here. Let's stun them. Reload our ray gun. And that should be it. No? Where's the rest of them? Did I miss one? Oh, I think there's one under me. There it is. No, wait. Still more. And still more somehow. Found it. There we go. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. We made it through for now. I got to say things. The reload still kind of sucks with speed core. Got some pretty trash loot though. Not gonna lie. Oh wait, breaking news. We might actually be able to get a contract here in tier three. Oh, look at us go. Tier three bounty, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and it's a mega bomb. All right, we need to find a way to scrounge up $600. We'll just run in here. Go ahead and drop it on the ground. There we go. Perfect. Just the right amount of money. My right, ray gun is officially pack-a-punch three. Can it one-tap these zombies? 
Ooh, it's a two tap. Even against non fully armored zombies. But if y'all will excuse me, I have a mega abomination to take down. Cycle, you need to go. I'm not dealing with you healing shit. Actually, why am I not using this? There you go. And we got two abominations, actually. Double trouble. Having a threesome with them. Little menage a trois or whatever the fuck. Menage a trois. And they are not playing nice. They're just some BDSM. So I'm getting my ass beat. And it's not doing a whole lot of damage to them. This might be the worst combination of wonder weapons to use against mega abominations. But I need you dead. I need you to die. Oh, we got another player coming in over here. You know what? You distract one of them at least. That works for me. Can we break your face? Not even a broken face, dude. I mean, we're doing more damage than our Wonder Wolf was, but... Finally broke one. And he's got this Disciple, or this Mega Bomb dead to rights. That crossbow destroyed him. And it looks like he's trying to do the same to this one. Honestly, I'll go for it. We've seen how much damage our weapons can do against these, and it's not a whole lot. Oh, no. He abandoned us. I gave him the go-ahead, and he said, nah. He's doing, like, little to nothing. That sucks. Oh, and we got another one spawning in anyways. I guess the unique feature to the ray gun is you normally get like pistol fast draw with it when you're not using another wonder weapon. And you can use it while you're down on the ground. So it's got that going for it. I might just have to use this jug that I got. I'm going to use it. Come on, gimme. Let me use it. No. There we go. Mimic, you're out of here. Abomination, gone. Actually, let's, let's take out this guy first. This guy's our main target anyways. There we go. Dead. Other guy's gonna blow up. Cool. Anyone else want some? That's what I thought. Holy shit. I did not expect these to be this bad. We got eight minutes left till the storm starts moving in. If we want to get a rift before this worm spawns, we need to work fast. We need to join a group. The one contract I could get is the spore contract. The worst one. Um, people are already setting up for the worm. Let's see if I can speed run this. So if I can go ahead and get a rift sigil, go over there. Maybe get a little something something from the worm. And then go back to the dark aether. You might be cooking. But I'm very positive these two weapons won't really do anything against the worm. So I'm not stressing too much. There's going to be bystanders in that fight. No rifts for me. It was worth a shot, I guess. Can we make it to the worm now? That's the big question, because if we can't get there before they kill it, we're running straight into the eye of the storm. Oh, I think it's just now showing up. We made it here just in time. What's going on, worm? And I can't really tell how much damage we're doing to him, but I don't think it's a lot, because we got 80 sentry guns going off on top of however many people are here fighting this. Maybe now we can join a group and somebody will accept. Might be able to sneak into somebody else's dark aether. Damn, this thing's got an insane amount of health against all these people. It's just nonstop shots at him. And it's like he's just eating it all. You don't even know what to do. You don't even know who to target. And we're getting our participation trophy for this one for sure. Oh, it's almost there. At least let me slide in here and grab the legendary aether tool that drops from him. If they won't let me join their group, I'm gonna be a gremlin. Come on, it's almost dead. This should be it right here. Let me get the final blow on it. There we go. I don't see no legendary aether tool. I'm taking the crystal. Maybe something good from the rift. Uh, we got a ray gun back. Now one last chance. Anybody want to join my group? Oh, I'm in. Oh, and they're going to the dark aether. Let's go. We're riding on the coattails of their success. It's all coming together. All according to plan. Now is this a normal or an elder? Oh, it's an elder. They're putting us to the test. Which one are they going to first? Oh, they want to do the escort first. Get it out of the way. Smart. Actually, I don't even have a self revive. So this uh, is going to be a little tough. Maybe I'll get one as a reward from this if we can make it through. We're on the move. We're Oscar Mike. So far, so good. We got this at 96%. Wonder Wolf is doing its job. Oh, one of them's got to have a VR 11. This thing's back at 100. We're chilling. Sick. There we go. Uh, give me that. And that's just about all we get for this one. It looks like he's about to start up the Aether Extractor. I'm already in position. Let me add him. First one's down. And we got the last one. Beautiful. Great work. Oh, we got an Elder Sigil. I'll take that for sure. Last one. Let's start her up. And this is probably the one where our, our Wonder Weapons actually have a chance to do something. Because being able to stop the zombies in their tracks while killing a bunch of other ones is perfect. And that's an easy contract. All right, time to go been a pleasure gentlemen thank you for the carry let's get out of here before the game decides to fuck us ggs 
So my overall ranking of the Wonder Weapons, I it's kind of a toss up between number one on the VR11 and the Scorcher, just because the VR11 does so much damage to everything, even though it has very slow fire rate, not a whole lot of ammo and a slow reload. The movement speed on it's great. Being able to heal up ACVs is great. You can actually heal up teammates as well or give them a buff, but I always play solo, so that doesn't really come in handy for me. But with the Scorcher, we discovered that it does do a lot of damage. Maybe not against like big elites like a Mega Bomb, but it can take out basically any tiers worth of zombies in one shot. It can take out basically any tiers HVTs as long as it's not a Mega Abomination. And you can move from one side of the map to the other with ease. It's just so nice. But as for the Ray Gun and the Wonder Waff, I would put the Ray Gun at three underneath whatever one decides to be one and two. I, I, you know what? I'm going to give the Scorcher one, VR11 two, Ray Gun three, and I'm putting the Wonder Waff all the way down at four. The only thing the Wonder Wasp really good for is taking out the Stormcaller, which, you know, there's plenty of weapons out there that can take out the Stormcaller and also handle some Mega Bombs and some Tier 3 Zombies. And as for the crowd control aspect of it, yeah, it's good for, like, training up zombies and giving them a quick shot, but you can just as easily do that and do it faster with an Aether Blade. All you gotta do is toss it out and it'll probably kill the same amount. But now we've done every single Wonder Weapon in this game fully pack-a-punched and tested out. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.